as far as alcohol in the blood, so every every hour you metabolize one ounce of alcohol. Now, one ounce of alcohol is a 12 ounce beer, a shot of Jack Daniels, or six ounce glass of wine. Your body doesn't know the difference. So when people say, oh, I just drink wine, or oh, I just drink beer, you can say, oh, I just drink Jack Daniels. It doesn't matter. An ounce of liquor is an ounce of liquor. It's just in a beer can, you're gonna go to the bathroom a lot more. That's the only difference. It's got more fluid in it. So um, people that try to, you know, separate the different alcohols, your body doesn't know the difference. An ounce of alcohol is an ounce of alcohol. You metabolize it every hour. So in theory, if you were gonna be awake for 24 hours, you could literally have a drink every hour and never be drunk in theory. Now we know it's different. We know that men metabolize alcohol much faster than women. We know that women in childbearing years have a tendency to have higher levels of alcohol. We know all kinds of things affect that. Did you eat today? Have you slept? All those things come into play. So there's all kinds of charts that'll say, well, you can have three drinks and be okay to drive. And you know, as well as I do, you should just not drink and drive. Always have a designated driver, it's a smart way to do it. But drinking, there, there are so many different people that will come in my office and test positive in the morning on, on an alcohol test. And they'll say, well, I was drinking the night before. Once again, it goes to how much you drank and what period of time did you eat? What time did you go to bed? It is possible to test positive the next morning for an alcohol test. Um, typically, it's not gonna be maybe 0.04, maybe 0.06. The legal limit for driving uh, when you will get a ticket and get your license taken away is 0.08. Um, typically, what we do see when we do breathalyzing, breathalyzer test, is we will see someone whose uh, amount is going up. So let's say they test at 0.08 and then we do it again and they test at 0.1.0. Well, we know at that point they're drinking on the job. So that kind of is an indicator of what's going on. But as far as alcohol goes, you do metabolize one ounce every hour. So in general, you'd be okay if you had a couple drinks and you had a couple hours to sit and you had, and you had dinner. That's why people say you can have a couple glasses of wine with dinner because you're eating and all that's going to go together and metabolize. Um, as far as flushing your body out with coffee or water with alcohol, part of the problem with alcohol is it dehydrates you. So drinking water is obviously a great thing. It's going to hydrate you, but it also makes people feel drunk again. <laughs> and that's just part of the game. But over time, the water will flush out eventually. We'll flush it out, but it's not an automatic thing. Same thing with coffee. Coffee just makes you a sober drunk. You know, it doesn't really change anything. It just makes you feel more awake. Um, but it's a dehydration too. So it really waters the way to go if you're trying to do something different with that. <clears throat> Have you had any experience working with clients that use soberly? I have. Soberlink is... Um, very much a breathalyzer. It's the same concept. You blow into it and you're able to drive or whatever you need to do. The problem with Soberlink is that unless you're testing this person all the time, people know, we've already talked about you metabolize one ounce of alcohol every hour. So let's say this person gets tested at nine o'clock in the morning, at three o'clock in the afternoon and nine o'clock at night. That gives you a very high open window that you can drink. If you know what you're doing, you know how much you can drink and get away with it and always pass sober length. One of the problems with that is that it's, it's a timed thing that uh, is scheduled. Now, if it was unscheduled, I think it would be more effective. I don't know how you would do that. I don't know who would do that, but I know like in the probation world, they used to have a system where you would call in 
and you would have a certain color like today today's your color is blue today is blue you get a drug test so if soberlink had something where they did some kind of random notification where you could be called at any time i think it would be a great tool but having a scheduled time nine three and nine that person knows exactly how much they can drink and still pass it it's a breathalyzer it's simple as that it's only going to show what's in your system at the time and if you know that you metabolize one ounce of alcohol every hour, and if you're a drinker, you know that. You know how much you can drink and still pass the breathalyzer. 